Hello and welcome to this new Leathercraft Academy tutorial. Today we're gonna make a holster bag. I have already cut all the parts and I'm gonna start with the preparation of the linings. That part is the main lining. It is the part that is going to line the front and that one is gonna be lining the back. And I've got there all the pocket linings. So for each pocket we've got two linings. I'll show you the front of the bag. We've got two pockets. We're gonna attach zippers here and there. And I'm gonna take care of the lining of that pocket and that pocket, and also of that pocket that is going on the back of the bag. We will also have uh, pockets inside, which is going to be a simple flat pocket made of lining. We're gonna start to apply some contact adhesive on that part. I've traced the line seven millimeters from the edge here. The lining is gonna be folded like that. So we'll be using all the time contact adhesive for the leather and for the lining. That lining is some kind of synthetic uh, suede. I'm gonna do a one centimeter fold. I will now take care of that lining. And I'm gonna apply glue all around that part. That part is the flat pocket that is going to be sitting on the front lining of the bag. So just apply glue five millimeter all around. Okay, let's now go ahead and try to fold these edges as straight as possible. I really advise you to use a ruler to fold the edge of the lining against the edge of the ruler. It does help a lot. Oh, that one is a little curve and I will have to, to, to do it by hand without any kind of guide. I could have traced another line. Okay, let's now take care of the longest one, which is basically the back and not the front. Um, you got to be very, very careful and do it slowly. You can kind of shape the material with your finger before to fold it. It does help a lot. Let's see. So now I can do it a little bit more easily. And I'm not totally pressing it down because I want to be able to undo it if needed. So if, I, if it's nice, I can press it down. Once it is pressed down, it is very hard to undo. Now we've got our flat pocket. So that pocket is going right there and that is going to be folded like so. Now with my iron I will crease all the visible edges on the front and the back of the bag and starting with the flesh side. It is going to be a little bit tricky to go in the rounded corners so I don't think I will do them, I'll just stop at the beginning of the curve. I'm really applying pressure on that crease to be nicely marked. 
I will now finish the edges that uh, I've just creased. I'm using a brush and some edge dye. So I'm just going to apply a few layers, probably two. You can see here there will be one extra centimeter on that side and another on that side. I will need to cut some teeth in order to be able to stitch nicely the zipper and to, to avoid a bulk here. I'm now cutting the teeth using this cutting plier. So I cut a few on each side carefully avoiding to cut the fabric of the zipper. I have prepared all my zippers by cutting the teeth on both sides and I will now glue them on the front and on the back. So I will apply glue all around this area carefully because I do not want any glue on the edge otherwise I will need to clean that later and I don't want to waste time so. and I will do the same for the back and I now apply glue on the three zippers which are going to be outside the bag about seven millimeters from the edge of the zip Don't forget to put glue on the zipper hands. The slider is going to be on that side of the bag, basically the top. You carefully apply the zipper, making sure the teeth are straight in the middle. If you look carefully you will see lines on the zipper fabric parts and it is quite convenient to follow those lines in order to make sure the zipper is straight. So here we have our front and our back. I will now apply glue on the lining sitting right there on the zip uh, carefully because I do not want glue to go on this edge and then we will also apply glue there Time to do some stitching. I'll be using the scratch compass. I trace 2.5 millimeters from the edge. 2.5 millimeters. And for this project I will be using the Lecosa number 8 breaking iron. I've made a review about these breaking irons and I will certainly put a link in the description so you can see what I'm, what I'm thinking about them. I'll start from there and I will only stitch the bottom section the top section is going to be stitched later when I add the other lining let's now finish the stitching 
just like so pulling this needle under and I will then making a double knot and then another one which I will then cut with my scaving knife I've now stitched all the zippers and I will put the other part of the lining there, here, on about 7 millimeters, and I think I will apply it right away and I will have to stitch again the other one so we do the same with this one this one is going there and for that one this is the back pocket we'll show you a quick way to stitch all around this area to do this I am only using one needle and one thread and one hole and I'm stitching about five, five millimeters uh, from the edge basically I'm doing every centimeter I am doing one stitch let's now cut the zipper excess the zipper is going a little bit too much outside Let's now assemble the inside pocket with the lining. And apply some glue on the pocket. That part is going to be folded. Just apply glue there. Should be now folding this edge. So just put a little bit of glue there. Let's now fold this. Now it's pretty easy because we are using the edge of the lining underneath as a guide. And this should look like that. I think this should be stitched one centimeter from the edge. The leather front and back is going to be stitched seven millimeter from the edge, but I need the lining to be slightly smaller to fit well. I'm applying this right away. The glue is still wet. Be careful. The edges needs to match well. And we're now ready to stitch this one centimeter from the edge which is going to be here to stitch the lining I'm going to use the saddle stitching technique but I'm only going to be doing uh, one stitch every seven millimeter about I'm not using a pricking iron as it might cut the lining and fragilize it. And here is the final result of the lining stitched. So it looks like that on the inside. Okay, let's now do some skiving. I'm gonna sky this area on about 1.5 centimeters, this area as well, and I'm also gonna sky here along the stitching, the final assembly stitching line. So I'm not gonna sky this too thin, but um, probably. Half half the thickness of it 
will be removed. I've traced the line 7 mm from the edge that I'm following. This is the line I'm going to follow when stitching. I could have done that before, but that's fine, I can also do it now. Um, this part is going to be between two layers of leather. This be the area where I will attach the handle. So I want that to be really thin at the end because we're going to have like four layers. That's a lot. The next step will be to attach the zipper. I will now apply contact adhesive on the front and on the back. And the same on the other part. And I will now stitch the front and the back using a round hole and I will do one hole every five millimeters. I'm using a dark thread quite similar to the color of the leather because the thread might be showing a little bit when I turn the bag over. Now we have finished the stitching and I will just cut the thread and glue it down. Not too difficult. You have now to hammer it to shape the edge. I've divided the zipper into two parts and I apply some adhesive on the edge about seven millimeters. I'm now gonna apply some adhesive inside of the bag where I want to assemble the zipper. So let's now assemble the zipper. I am going to follow this line there that is on the zip. I don't know if you can see. So I will start there. Now I have assembled the zipper on both sides and I will use my plier. You can use a hammer if you don't have this kind of plier. Just press it a little bit so it is firmly attached to the bag. So I will put the leather tab really close to the teeth here and there, like so. And that part is going underneath and it's going to be stitched with the leather and the lining. So we are now going to put the slider in and that teeth should be the first one to come into the slider. It's now time to assemble the lining. And I'm gonna apply some glue on the lining. So we just put glue there and we will do the same on the zipper. I'm gonna apply some glue inside of the zip, not going too far. 
Okay, let's now assemble the lining together with the outer of the bag. We need to follow the same line we just followed when we assembled the leather and the zipper together. I need to be very precise because I need to be stitching the lining. I should not be cutting the edge of the lining while I am stitching. That's one of the trickiest parts. I gotta be really careful. I'm trying to like this. Okay. To follow this line it should be okay, but I will test it with my round hole. I can actually test like this. I can see that we are good. Yeah. So I'll do the other side now. I will also need to glue this back, but I will pause the video. I have opened it because it's easier to to do with the zipper open, obviously. But now that we are done, I can put it back. I need to put some glue there. Let me finish this nicely. Okay, we will now prepare the stitching and I will be tracing with my scratch compass 2.5 mm from the edge for the stitching. Okay, so let's now apply glue in here, uh, in there. We're gonna close both hands before we start uh, attaching the shoulder strap. And I will punch both sides of the handle. I will show you that one first, but there are two, two straps in that bag. And we're gonna be doing the same on the other one. I have taken some marks with my round hole. This is where the stitching is gonna start and where it's gonna end. And using two pricking iron, one with two teeth, one with uh, eight teeth. I'm gonna punch. Now applying the part where the handle is going to be attached on both sides as we just applied glue and it is now dry. I also use my plier to make these a little bit more compact. Now I apply adhesive all over the strap except this area because I'm going to attach it the bag and I don't want it to be glued totally. You'll notice that part is slightly wider than the other. It's because we're gonna trim it to get a perfect edge after we attach it with the other part of the strap. We will now apply both parts of the shoulder strap and I'll start from this area making sure everything matches and then slowly and then we will trim the excess so we get these nice edges that we will be able to finish right after and this part is going to be attached right there I am now trimming the excess and it is always better if you do it in one go. Yeah. 
I'll now attach with some adhesive the strap here and then we also apply some glue on the bag it's a little bit too much glue here but I can clean that later ok let's start from there ok it's gonna start to be difficult right now we really need to match the top and bottom hole probably the most difficult stitching line is gonna be that one because this is the part where the leather is thicker so far it does match well so if all the stitching hole match perfectly the stitching is gonna be equally nice on the front and on the back which is why I'm do doing this double pricking thing I will now do the zipper puller I've got these rings that can hold a one centimeter zipper puller I'm folding it into two I have already done the edge finishing and I will just now mark right in the middle there and I will basically stitch it by hand like so let's now make some loops I'll need some loops to attach the handle later so I'll make two two of them I've cut this uh, leather loop this is one centimeter wide two layers let's cut down one one side now it takes the two strap that I want to attach with the loop and take a mark there I want them tight cut and I will now skive it you just need to glue that and to stitch it now and I will just pull the needle through like that two times and make a knot at the back when I'm finished like so One more. Okay, now I've cut the thread, and I'm using polyester, so I, I can also burn it. It's under. No one gonna see it. I'll do the same for that one. 